What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Poulin chainsaw and the problem is, is that the primer bulb is broken. So if it's broken then you shouldn't be able to start it, right? Let's take a good look at it and see if we can fix it. In this video we repair this chainsaw, however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other situations later in the video. Normally you would press the primer bulb before starting the chainsaw. However, as you can see, this one's kind of broken. So if you want to start it, well, it's going to be a little tough. So here's the new primer bulb and it was purchased from eBay for about $5. They don't normally stock this at the big box stores as this type has a flange that uses screws while the stores usually only carry the ones that snap into place. Now, every time I've had to replace primer bulbs, I've never tried starting the machine. This time, however, I want to try and start this thing, even with a busted primer bulb. Well, surprisingly, it actually started. So I guess the check valve at the base of the primer bulb must be keeping air from getting into the fuel system. Well, even though it started, we still need to replace the primer bulb for future use. Let's start by removing the screws on the recoil cover. Well, it looks like one of the screws is missing from the cover. I'll have to look for an extra one later on. And after removing the recoil cover, all we have to do is remove the screws holding the primer bulb to the chainsaw and disconnect the fuel lines. And unfortunately, the fuel lines are not very long, so we can't pull the primer bulb very far away from the chainsaw. To make sure we replace the lines correctly, it will help to see what lines go to what. To do that, we'll need to remove the top cover. So it looks like the longer port goes to the fuel tank for the return and the shorter port goes to the carburetor. So we just have to make sure that when we connect the fuel lines, we attach them the same way. And unfortunately, the new bulb has ports that are the exact same size. So to figure out what line goes to where, just install the lines and then try pressing the primer bulb. Now, if the fuel doesn't come from the carburetor and through the return line back to the tank, just simply switch the fuel lines at the bulb. Some of you may have noticed that the bulb had fuel in it when I installed it. That's because I had to use this method just off camera. Once the fuel is flowing in the correct direction, install the screws for the bulb and then replace both covers. Another reason why your chainsaw might not be starting is that the fuel lines might be broken at either the fuel tank or the carburetor. After it's back together, let's try starting it and make sure it works like it's supposed to. So my question to you is, would you buy a Poulin chainsaw? I've heard that they're just junk and not worth buying or even fixing. I'm really interested in your opinion. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.